Hey kids, it's the DB Smokey here. All right, I am pretty much all prepped now to go to Pleasure House Point. As you can see, I got my cotton carrier on, I got the DJI stuff on here, and I'm filming on the S22. Uh, also got my shelter hat, and I got my new A7 IV with the 200 to 600. I'm gonna give it a whirl and see how it does with the birding uh, and the bird eye autofocus and all that stuff. I updated the firmware on the camera the, you know, the day I got it. So that was supposed to help with the, with the autofocus and all that kind of stuff, although I never really experienced a problem on my original A4 or A7 IV. So I'm going to turn all this shit off and get the AC back on because it is just unbelievably hot as balls in here. And we're gonna head to Pleasure House Point. Okay, before I pass out, uh, I need to get the AC on and I'll shut this off, but let's head to Pleasure House Point and go see some birds. All right, kids, I already went to Pleasure House Point, obviously, and I, I did a pretty good walk around. I did the full loop in addition to the figure eight loop, which means I covered the entirety of Pleasure House Point. And for some reason, I still didn't get all my steps in today, but I just had to stop and, and actually show you this view because it's really cool with that cloud and the, the sunbeams and what have you. God, ain't mother nature grand, too cool. Anywho, so I decided that I was going to go for a walk. Let's go back to the Pleasure House Point trip that I did today. I took the A7 IV, the newest one, and I put the 200 to 600 on it, and I put it into bird eye autofocus. Now remember, I've done that before on my first A7 IV that I had set up for filming, and I don't really think that I had it set up properly for pictures because remember i really didn't do anything on it because i was like ah, i'll just see see how it shoots you know and i went through and i made a couple of changes on it on the fly but i did not have it set up the way that it should be set up for pictures so this one the new one totally is set up for pictures and totally set up for video and i got that all worked out and i already know that the video looks really good and I also know that the pictures look good because I'd been taking pictures since I got it the other day. But today, that eye autofocus, the bird eye autofocus, holy shit. There was a great blue heron up in the trees. When I first walked in, that entire area was in shade. And the bird was like way away from any opening and sitting up like in the branches of a tree I don't even know how the hell I saw it. I think it was just because I started looking to see if there was ever anything up there. That freaking bird eye autofocus caught that damn bird's eye in like almost dark conditions. It was crazy. I couldn't believe that it picked it up and everything was tack sharp. It was that way through the entire walk. Every bird, it caught focus. We're talking even on a crow a black crow with a black eye. It caught the focus on that bitch, up in a bunch of pine trees way the hell away and gave me tack sharp pictures. So monkey freaking approved on the whole bird eye autofocus of this A7 IV once you set everything up properly. That's the key though. You got to set it up properly. Okay, this is random. There's a bird up there. I don't know if you can see it, but more importantly, there's a table at this intersection. Don't know why. I swear, the weirdest shit shows up on my walks. Here's a table. I kind of feel like I could pull up a chair and sit down and have a drink if it was in the shade. But then on the other side over here is where I saw that puffer fish sitting on the grate going into the freaking sewer. Weird. Okay, so it was a good trip to, to Pleasure House Point. Had a very delicious lunch. I'm full. I was food combing. I was watching videos about how to make bracelets properly. And I knew I needed to get my ass up off that chair because all I wanted to do was go downstairs and lay on the couch and fall asleep. 
I don't need to do that. So I'm going to do this walk, go back, throw this video up, and then hopefully I'll get it done quick enough that I can just go sit down on the couch and watch Sven Gulli because it's Sven Gulli night. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.